waters of Ireland can be a dangerous place with treacherous seas beating against rough terrain. Safety always comes first. The Coast Guard helicopter crew have been scrambled to an incident in the surf at Ballard Bay. Captain Kieran Ferguson is in charge of plotting the rescue. The location then is just north of Kilkee. It's a place called Ballard Bay, and uh, there's a famous surf break there called Riley's Wave. So Riley's is well known for bodyboarders. Ballard Bay in County Clare is a mecca for surfers. People travel from across the globe to experience this massive break. But the rocky shoreline and 30 meter high cliffs make it an extremely dangerous place to surf. A bodyboarder has been injured while surfing a huge wave. This is just before I actually realised I broke my leg. I could hear the sound in my head at the xylophone and it was actually my leg dragging along the bottom of the, the sea. Unable to walk and still in the frothing sea, the bodyboarder is dragged clear of the water by his friends. But they all know getting him out of the bay and into hospital will be impossible on foot. The Coast Guard are facing problems of their own. The wind offshore, no access from ground units uh, from cliff side. This is a location that will be a real test of skill for the helicopter's pilot. We were facing the helicopter in a hover in towards the cliff face, meaning that the helicopter, should anything happen, had nowhere to exit except for a hard bank to the right and out to sea. It's not a comfortable situation to be in. A sheer cliff face with a slippery reef below is trapping the casualty against the sea. I can't get any closer to the casualty because of the cliff face on the left hand side. And I can't get any closer to the casualty because of the terrain between us and the casualty. Winchman Phil Wren will have to make his way across this treacherous terrain. We decided to winch me up to safe height from over the water, what we call an extended cable. The aircraft would climb up and I'd stay down and go. Phil is ready to leave the aircraft in what's shaping up to be a very tricky manoeuvre. We deploy him right over the sea and then move in slowly to deliver him to the location of the, of the surfer. Just incredibly brave for him to come down and try and rescue me and fly the helicopter in there and rescue everyone in safety and stuff. Painstaking winch, Phil finally touches down. This is very undulating terrain. Uh, there is surf breaking short distance away from home. Quickly but carefully, Phil makes his way over to the injured man. His friends have tried to make him as comfortable as possible, but shock and pain are setting in and he needs medical attention fast. What we need to do is break away from this dangerous hover, one, so that the noise of the aircraft doesn't drown out communications with Philip and the casualty, and two, to get the aircraft out of profile, so we climb and exit the area as best we can back out to sea while we're talking to Philip on the Polycon radio. So a quick assessment and uh, a radio for the aircraft for some equipment to winch down, so we high line technique, rope will come down so I can control the stretcher. Lowering the stretcher to Phil on the ground needs careful coordination between Phil and winch up Eamon on board the helicopter. Once the stretcher is on the ground, Phil has to work speedily to strap the casualty in place. With the casualty secured on the stretcher, it's down to his mates to help Phil move him to a place the helicopter can safely operate. Again, fought with danger against this cliff face. The aircraft maneuver as close as possible to the overhead as we possibly can get. As the lift begins, the pilot skillfully maintains the aircraft in a rock steady position. It's an extremely difficult rescue which requires huge strength and coordination. Philip is inside the aircraft. The high line is cut and immediately the aircraft has to bank hard right 
and back away from the cliff face and out and see. Pretty scary experience. Once they clipped me into the bay and once we kind of headed off and they were checking me, I just was like. Whew. Once the casualty is on board, it is essential to get a medical treatment as soon as possible. The skill and bravery of the Coast Guard is something this body border will be eternally grateful for. Phil was the guy who came down and, and on the winch and just, that guy was just a legend, I really owe him a pint and stuff. The chopper crew were just really friendly and real warm and just very professional and once I was there and the guys were checking me over and, and having a chat with me, I just knew I was going to be alright.